Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video, I am going to be taking you guys through my kind of everyday go-to makeup look recently. So basically, the look that you guys see in Instagram pictures, in videos that are not, you know, makeup tutorials, that's the look we're gonna be doing today because that's honestly the most requested video that I get. So I wanted to show you guys the routine because it's fairly simple, pretty quick, easy, but still looks really good. But before I get started, I wanted to show you guys a really cool new product that I have been incorporating into my routine recently. And I wanted to share with you guys because it's gonna be on major sale. Okay, so here is the product that I am obsessed with. So this is the High Mirror Mini version. And this has literally been like a game changer. This is the coolest mirror that I've ever seen in my whole entire life. It is a smart mirror and basically what it does is A, it provides amazing lighting for makeup. Also, there's so many cool apps on here. You can pull up YouTube if you want to watch a quick makeup tutorial by, I don't know, me. Real quick before you do your makeup, it has Instagram, Spotify, Facebook, it has all these cool apps. And then my favorite app that I wanted to show you guys really quick is the Skin Analyzer. So basically what it does is it takes a photo of your face and let me see if I can do it really quick for you guys. So after you take the picture of yourself, it's gonna analyze your skin and give you more information about all the skin factors like your pores, red spots, dark spots, wrinkles, fine lines, roughness, dark circles. And so basically it tells me in here, I don't know if you guys can really see it, but it tells me that my main concerns are um, dark spots and dark circles, which I already know because I have those. So you can track your progress and see like how well your skincare products are working for you. So obviously it's a really cool product and I have been loving it. So I think this would be a great gift for someone who is really into skincare or makeup makeup or someone who's into like smart technology kind of products, I think this would be really cool. And I really wanted to mention this now because obviously it's holiday season, but they have given me a $40 off code for Black Friday. So it goes on until the 27th and then from the 28th till the 4th, it will go down to $30, but it's still like a really amazing coupon. So if you guys want to pick up this mirror, definitely take advantage of the code. So now I'm going to get into the makeup tutorial and I'm going to bring this mirror back over here because I've been using it nonstop ever since I got it to, you know, do my makeup. So let's get into the tutorial. All right, so I am going to just get into it. First, I'm going in with this new primer that I got during the Sephora sale, and I've really been liking it. So this is the Far Sally Skin Tone Blurring Primer. So this is a cool product. And like I said, I just started using it, but I do really like it. It's good if you want that really smooth, poreless look. So I'm gonna apply this first. And it smells really good. I'm actually gonna clip this up real quick. Okay, so the next for foundation for every day, I usually use a drugstore one because I don't know, I'm just cheap. I don't know. Uh, but for that, I've been using the old trusty, rusty L'Oreal True Match. This is an oldie, but a goodie. So I believe they launched a few new shades of this and that's why they're kind of like re-promoting it. But uh, when I'm tan, I use the shade W7. And I just like how lightweight this is. And um, the W7, I feel like, is a really good olive color for me. So. So I would say it's like medium coverage if you guys have never tried this one. And next for concealer, I go in with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I love this. I don't even use shape tape anymore. Like shape tape who? Like what is a shape tape? Uh, so this is my favorite and I'm using Golden Beige. I always apply a generous amount of concealer. It's just what I do because I have dark circles. The mirror even told me so, so you know. And then I'm going to spray my Beauty Blender with some setting spray. My water actually is not working right now, so I couldn't even wet this under the sink if I wanted to. Then we go in. And I realize this is a little redundant because this is nothing new and exciting, but you guys always ask for this kind of stuff, so.
Next I go in with my Lawless Seal the Deal Brightening Powder and I use this to set my eyes only. You can use this to set all over but I have a new powder for that that I like so just set the eye area with this. So the next is a powder that I got during the Sephora sale and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder. This powder is so good. I feel like this is everything that I wanted the Laura Mercier Glow Powder to be. Uh, that one is just like a loose highlighter, it seems to me. Like it's too glowy. So basically what I do is I just tap off the excess and then I go in and like buff it in. And like at first it looks like a little bit white. But it just provides like a really nice glow without being like shiny. Not sure if the camera is going to pick up the glow, but I feel like it's glowy in person. Without being shiny, it's like really hard to describe, so. Then I go in pretty heavily with my Deep Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. And um, I just like to be bronze all the time. It's just who I am and I'm not going to fight it. And I don't really do any like harsh contouring on my cheeks for every day. I just kind of just go in with this. I just use this to add some warmth and some dimension. I also just kind of like squeeze my brush and contour my nose a little bit with it. Then I take whatever's left on that powder brush and kind of just like dab over it to get rid of any lines. Then while we're here, I'm just gonna take this same bronzer and I'm going to use this as an eyeshadow, just popping it in my crease. Nothing special because I usually don't care most days. I just need a little bit of something in my socket. Sounds dirty, it's fine. And then I take a little bit and just put it underneath. And this will prevent any um, mascara smudging. So I just always put eyeshadow there. Then we're going to use this later on on our face. But I am also going to use it on my eyes. So this is the Becca Chrissy Teigen cinnamon sugar loose highlighter and this is amazing because a i love chrissy Teigen. i think she's one of the greatest people on this planet <laughs> and also because this is amazing it smells like cinnamon and sugar and it is gorgeous so what i do is i just take it on my finger and i just put it all over my lid it's not like a lot of color that it's gonna add I mean, not for me anyway, because this is close to my skin tone, but it just adds like a little bit of shimmer. It's super pretty and quick. Then next, I'm going to take a little bit of brown eyeliner. And this is Bourbon from Urban Decay. And basically what I'm going to do is I am just going to kind of start halfway and do like a wing shape. And it doesn't have to be cute or pretty. I'll tell you why in a moment. It doesn't have to be perfect. It does not. So don't freak out, okay? Just make sure it's like kind of wing-esque. Then all you have to do is literally take any old, dirty, dry makeup wipe or you can use a beauty blender. Probably use one that's a little bit on the drier side. And all you do is you just clean up the edge. So you just go like this. You could use a Q-tip too. But you just clean up the edge. So just clean up the edge, then go back in with your blending brush, kind of just go over it. And it just creates like a really soft wing. And I wouldn't really try this with black because it might get messy. But that's just like what I do like when I want that shape. I feel like it just makes your eyes look very pretty and sexual. I don't know why sexual is the word that I go to. But um, 
yeah so that's it then i go in with this opal highlighter also from becca or you can use any like shimmery shadow and i just put this on the inner corner and like kind of like bring it around both directions so it really just makes your eyes look really open and angelic so then i'm gonna go in with mascara and this is the hourglass caution mascara it's very very black and volumizing which i like So I just did my brows really quick off camera just to save time, but this is the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade Honey Brown. So then I'm going to do blush, and this is another product I got during the Sephora sale. This is the Charlotte Tilbury The Climax blush and this is so pretty i love like the mauvey brown with like the peach in the middle it's just everything so just going to apply this and i don't know how i've never tried her blushes before because everyone is obsessed with them um but now that i have i'm in love and then for highlight, I'll either go in with this Opal or the Becca Christie. I guess today I'll use the Becca Christie one so you guys can see. So it's not like a really blinding highlight because it is more like a bronzy shade, but it's so pretty and just like natural looking. And I feel like if you have like a similar skin tone to mine, you'll really like it. Because it just makes you look so just, ugh. like you see that? I just love it. Just love it. I'm not sure how lighter skin tones will like it, but if you have tried it and you are lighter than me, please leave a comment so people can see. All right, so that's it. We can just pop some under there. I'm not like really particular or precise when I do my makeup every day. So that's what you're seeing here and I don't know, this is just my style. So I'm going to take this down. I had to take that down because my head was like hurting. Uh, but now I'm going to go in and line my lips with NYX Nude Beige. It's just like a really good everyday liner. All right, and then my everyday lip color for this season has been Tarte Siesta. I just love it. It's just like a darker nude. All right, and then I will spray it with some setting spray. This is the Naked Cherry All Nighter from Urban Decay. So yeah, that is pretty much it, more or less. When I need to do my makeup, this is what I normally do just for like an everyday basis. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out the High Mirror Mini and the code if you guys are looking for a good gift or you just want one for yourself. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Fuzz on my lip, but don't call me a fuzz lip. Yo, I gotta go, it's time for me to rock it. <laughs> if you don't know who sings that, you're too young. Goodbye, go away. Just kidding. Dude, how come when I'm doing this on camera, it's just not coming out how I was wanting it to? I do this every day and then I turn the camera on, it's like, nah. <laughs> No, you thought. You thought.